foods that can harm and even destroy your liver, based on my own experiences of unwittingly damaging my liver through these very foods. Our goal is to enhance awareness, and unfortunately, these common foods are often found in restaurants you may frequent, where the cheapest ingredients are used. For instance, children's menus typically include the worst possible food choices, containing maltodextrin, a substance worse than sugar, though not classified as such, and inexpensive oils like soybean and corn oil. You might be unaware that you're ingesting these substances, leading to bloating and discomfort post-consumption. There are three primary issues the liver can face, inflammation, fatty liver disease, and scarring, which can progress to cirrhosis. Observing someone with cirrhosis, their skin condition appears unhealthy, they might look thin but have a distended abdomen, a condition known as ascites, resulting from the liver leaking fluid into the abdominal cavity. This indicates severe liver damage. Often, their skin and the whites of their eyes turn yellow, a symptom of jaundice. Alcohol is a significant contributor to liver damage, but many are suffering from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, with statistics alarmingly rising, especially among children. Therefore, we will review which foods to avoid and which can help reverse these conditions. Remarkably, the liver possesses a strong regenerative capacity, though there is a limit to this recovery. Let's start with number one. TV dinners. The number one culprit on our list of liver damaging foods is TV dinners, a category that might have once held a special place in your heart. The convenience and the comfort of a prepackaged meal can be enticing, but a closer look at the ingredient list reveals a different story and alarming one. For instance, take a classic like meatloaf, a dish you might adore especially when following a beloved family recipe. However, in your college days, a lack of attention during the cooking process could lead to an unforgettable experience. Mixing a pound of hamburger meat with white bread and ketchup, and then consuming it all in one sitting without draining the excess grease, results in an overwhelming intake of fat and sugar. The aftermath could be a painful wake-up call in the early hours marked by a severe gallbladder issue. At the time, you might be unaware of the cause, mistakenly believing over-the-counter medication might offer relief. This personal anecdote highlights a broader issue with TV dinners. They often combine carbohydrates with meats in ways that promote the formation of advanced glycation end products, ages, exacerbating liver and gallbladder problems. The inflammation from such dietary choices further leads to insulin resistance, increasing blood sugar levels and contributing to the accumulation of visceral fat around the liver and ectopic fat within the liver itself. This ectopic fat exists outside the fat cells, infiltrating the organs and impairing liver function. Typically, TV dinners include ingredients like modified food starch, wheat flour, dextrose, modified corn starch, and, of course, sugar. These components, when combined and consumed, pose significant risks to liver health. Thus, despite their convenience and taste, TV dinners are far from being the best option for maintaining a healthy liver. Number 2. Tomato Soup the second food item that can negatively impact liver health is tomato soup. While tomato soup is singled out here, it's important to note that similar issues may arise with other types of soup as well. Upon inspecting the ingredients of a tomato soup, which used to be a staple in my diet, it's clear that it's not just made of tomatoes. There's a significant amount of sugar and wheat flour, along with other chemicals. In just a half cup serving, which amounts to 4 ounces, there are 4 teaspoons, 16 grams, of sugar. It's uncommon for anyone to limit themselves to just half a cup, consuming an entire can is more typical, effectively doubling the intake to 8 teaspoons of sugar. 
This excessive sugar consumption leads to fat accumulation, inflammation, and oxidative stress in the body. Such high levels of sugar, especially when hidden in seemingly innocuous foods like tomato soup, can be particularly damaging to the liver. The liver processes all the sugar we consume, and overloading it with high sugar foods can lead to conditions such as fatty liver disease and contribute to the overall burden of liver damage. Number 3. Nachos. The third item on our list of foods detrimental to liver health is nachos. In college, you might grab a can of cheese sauce and pour it over chips, topped with salsa. The chips themselves are a concern, made from corn flour that's typically genetically modified, GMO, and treated with glyphosate, among other chemicals. Then there's the matter of the oils used in their preparation. As for the cheese sauce, finding actual cheese in there might be a stroke of luck. Additionally, Consider the scenario of visiting a fast food restaurant where deep frying is a common practice. The frequency of oil changes in these establishments can be alarmingly low, with some using the same oil for weeks or even months. Consuming food fried in such overused oil can inflict considerable oxidative stress on your cells, especially since the fried items are typically carbohydrate rich. This combination of genetically modified ingredients, harmful chemicals, and the oxidative damage from repeatedly used frying oils underscores the risk nachos pose to liver health. The repeated exposure to these factors can exacerbate inflammation and contribute to the accumulation of damage in the liver and other tissues. Number 4. Fried Foods Fried foods represent a significant threat to liver health. When indulging in these crispy delights at restaurants, it's unlikely they're fried in healthful oils. Instead, they're submerged in seed oils such as corn, canola, cottonseed, and soy oil. These oils are genetically modified organisms, GMOs, exposing consumers to glyphosate, a controversial herbicide known for its inflammatory properties. Beyond inflammation, these omega-6 rich seed oils infiltrate our tissues, integrating into our cell membranes. This invasion spells trouble down the line, particularly when these oils contribute to the brittleness and inelasticity of arterial walls. A prime example of the dangers posed by fried foods is the humble potato chip. Potatoes are sliced, soaked in oils like vegetable or cottonseed oil, curiously named, as cotton is hardly a vegetable, and then fried. The process of frying, especially at high temperatures, with starches like those in potato chips, leads to the formation of advanced glycation end products, ages. This reaction occurs when fats bond with sugars, a transformation that can lead to inflammation in the liver and other tissues. Consider the ingredients in many commercial potato chips, potatoes, a variety of vegetable oils including corn, cottonseed, and soy, along with corn flour, rice flour, maltodextrin, and wheat starch. These components, especially maltodextrin, can significantly spike blood sugar levels, with a potential glycemic index value exceeding 100. This rapid conversion to sugar not only elevates blood glucose but also encourages the storage of fats in the liver, further compromising liver health. Yet, despite these health implications, the addictive taste of potato chips makes them irresistible to many. The combination of flavors and textures makes it challenging to stop at just one chip, leading to overconsumption and, consequently, a higher risk of liver damage. Number 5. Meat Products The fifth category of foods that pose a threat to liver health is meat products, particularly processed and canned meats. Reflecting on my college days, Financial constraints led me to frequent discount grocery stores where I would purchase budget-friendly options like 4 mil chilies and various canned meats. 
I'm not referring to healthier choices like sardines or canned tuna, but rather to canned meats such as spam and similar products. These canned meats often include added ingredients like corn flour, modified corn starch, and textured soy flour. These additives are problematic because, similar to fried foods, when carbohydrates are mixed with fats or proteins, they lead to the formation of advanced glycation end products, ages. This glycation process can severely impact liver function by clogging it up. The ramifications of consuming these processed meats extend beyond the liver, potentially affecting tissues in the eyes, heart, arteries, and brain. This not only exacerbates inflammation throughout the body but also spikes insulin levels, leading to increased fat production. Therefore, alongside fried foods like chips, canned and processed meat products are major contributors to liver damage due to their unhealthy additives and the harmful chemical reactions they induce in the body. Number 6. Aflatoxins the sixth and final item on our list involves exposure to aflatoxins, a type of mold known for its potential to cause liver cancer. This mold is more commonly encountered in Asia or Africa, particularly in cereals, legumes, and grains stored in conditions conducive to mold growth. However, certain precautions can minimize the risk of aflatoxin exposure. For instance, Opting for Valencia organic peanut butter, which is less likely to contain aflatoxins, is a safer choice. This specific type of peanut butter is what I choose to enjoy with my celery. Moreover, steering clear of grains can also reduce the risk of encountering aflatoxins. Turning our attention to foods beneficial for liver health, cruciferous vegetables like kale, broccoli, arugula, Brussels sprouts, and bok choy are excellent for supporting liver regeneration. Essentially, any raw vegetables can be considered liver-friendly. Additionally, a moderate intake of high-quality, grass-fed protein plays a crucial role in liver health. Eggs are particularly beneficial due to their high choline content, which aids in reducing liver fat. Incorporating foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as cod liver oil and fatty fish like salmon, can also support liver health. On the other hand, refined foods, especially those that are cooked or preserved, should be avoided as they can be detrimental to liver function. Number 7. High Fructose Corn Syrup, HFCS the seventh item on our list encompasses a broad category of foods containing high fructose corn syrup, HFCS. It's crucial to understand that the fructose found in HFCS differs significantly from the fructose present in fruits. Despite being the same molecule, the context in which fructose is consumed matters immensely. HFCS is a highly processed product derived from corn manipulated in a way that strips away any beneficial components. In contrast, fruit comes with various protective nutrients that can safeguard against health issues like diabetes. High fructose corn syrup doesn't offer these protective benefits. It's found in products that can be considered liquid candy, such as sodas, as well as in jellies, ketchup, candies, bread, applesauce, maple syrup, agave nectar, whipped cream, and many more. Among all the sugars detrimental to liver health, fructose sits at the top of the list. The liver metabolizes fructose similarly to how it processes alcohol, as a toxin. This can lead to serious health problems, including insulin resistance, fatty liver disease, and liver inflammation, which may eventually progress to cirrhosis. Therefore, it's evident that fructose, especially in the form of high fructose corn syrup, is a major contributor to liver damage. Being mindful of HFCS content in foods and choosing alternatives with natural or less harmful sweeteners can play a crucial role in protecting liver health and overall well-being. 
prioritizing a diet rich in whole foods and protective nutrients is key to maintaining a healthy liver. Welcome to our channel where your health is always our top priority. Today, we're going to delve into six unusual signs that could indicate liver damage, and no, it's not just excessive alcohol consumption that's to blame. A multitude of factors can lead to liver issues, from your diet, changes in your lifestyle, to having a fatty liver, among other causes. The worrisome truth is that most people only discover liver problems when the condition has become severe and requires significant medical intervention or surgery. To avoid finding yourself in such a predicament, being aware of the early signs and symptoms of liver damage is crucial. Stay tuned to find out what your liver might be trying to tell you. Diving into the realm of liver health, let's examine our first indicator, the yellowing of the skin and eyes, a condition medically termed jaundice. It may seem peculiar at first, but it's a critical signal that warrants your attention. Our liver tirelessly filters out a substance known as bilirubin, a byproduct of the body's regular breakdown of aged red blood cells characterized by its yellow pigment. When the liver is compromised, it struggles to process bilirubin, causing an accumulation in our system, which then manifests as the distinctive yellow hue on the skin and in the whites of the eyes. Let's unpack this further. Under normal circumstances, the liver effectively processes bilirubin and disposes of it via bile. However, liver damage impedes this process, leading to an increase in bilirubin levels in the bloodstream, evident through the yellowing associated with jaundice. It is crucial to acknowledge that jaundice itself is not a disease but a symptom signaling potential liver dysfunction. If you observe such changes in your skin or eye color, it's indicative of a liver that may be under distress and obtaining medical consultation without delay is advisable. Detecting such symptoms early can profoundly influence the approach and success rate of treating liver-related health issues. Now, let's shift our focus to a symptom that's often brushed aside, unexplained fatigue. We've all been tired at one time or another, but the exhaustion associated with liver damage is in a league of its own. Consider the sensation of perpetual exhaustion, an enduring need for rest regardless of ample sleep. This type of fatigue could be a telltale sign that your liver may not be up to PAR. To understand why, we need to delve into the liver's role in energy production. Our liver is the storage house for glycogen, a form of sugar that is converted into energy as our body demands. If the liver is impaired, this conversion process is disrupted, leading to a persistent state of fatigue. From a medical perspective, such fatigue is often tied to increased levels of liver enzymes in the blood, pointing to liver inflammation or damage, as well as a reduced capacity for protein synthesis, which is crucial for health and energy. If you're experiencing a level of tiredness that doesn't seem to recede with rest, it might be more than just a bad night's sleep it could be a signal from your body that your liver health needs attention. This symptom should not be overlooked, early intervention is vital for preserving your health. If this unrelenting fatigue sounds familiar, it's wise to seek a healthcare provider's insight to investigate the underlying causes. Advancing to our third unusual sign, persistent itchy skin. Occasional scratching is normal, but when the itch doesn't go away, it could be more than a simple case of dryness. The liver plays a pivotal role in our skin's well-being. A dysfunctional liver may lead to an excess of bile salts in our bloodstream, which in turn can cause persistent itching. To get into the specifics, bile salts are compounds produced by the liver that aid in digestion. However, when the liver is damaged, these salts can build up and migrate to the skin, resulting in a relentless itch. In medical terms, an increase in bile salts often points to liver issues. If you're experiencing an unusual amount of itching that doesn't seem to subside, it may be a subtle warning from your liver. Itchy skin, 
while often overlooked, can be a crucial indicator of an internal imbalance. Consulting a healthcare professional is a prudent step to uncover the cause of your itchy skin and to check for any liver-related concerns. Addressing these signs early on is crucial for effective management and prevention of more serious health problems. Turning to our fourth unusual sign, let's talk about dark urine. It may feel odd to monitor the hue of your urine, but its color is actually a significant indicator of your liver's condition. Typically, urine should have a pale yellow shade. If it starts to appear consistently darker, this may be a warning that your liver is struggling. Dark urine often indicates a problem with the liver's processing of bilirubin. Think of it as a cautionary signal from within. While it's not necessarily a reason for immediate concern, it's an alert that shouldn't be ignored. Persistent dark urine warrants a conversation with a healthcare provider. A professional can carry out the necessary examinations to pinpoint the exact cause and preempt any liver-related problems from worsening. Keep in mind, catching any health issues early can be crucial for effective treatment and long-term well-being. Remember to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest videos, and if you find our content valuable, please consider making a donation through the donate feature to support us in creating more high-quality content. Addressing our fifth distinctive sign, pale or clay-colored stools. It's not a subject that's typically discussed at the dinner table, but the appearance of your stools is a surprisingly telling indicator of liver health. Under normal conditions, a pigment called bilirubin, produced by the liver, imparts stools their characteristic brown color. When the liver is healthy, it processes bilirubin effectively, which in turn colors the stools. However, if there's a liver malfunction, it may not process bilirubin properly, and this is reflected in pale or clay-colored stools. Put simply, a lack of color in your stools may suggest a hiccup in this coloration process, a visual hint that your liver might not be functioning optimally. Medically, a lighter stool color corresponds with reduced bilirubin content, which could signal liver dysfunction. While discussing stool color might be somewhat uncomfortable, being observant of such changes is crucial for early detection of liver conditions. Should you notice a consistent presence of pale stools, it's wise to seek medical advice to investigate your liver's health. Prompt action can be a key factor in managing liver health and safeguarding your overall wellness. Discussing our sixth and final peculiar sign, bruising easily. Bruises are common, yet if you're experiencing more frequent bruising with little to no impact, it may point to an underlying issue with your liver health. Our liver is instrumental in producing proteins that are vital for blood clotting. If the liver is compromised, its ability to synthesize these proteins diminishes, thereby increasing your susceptibility to bruising. To put it in layman's terms, the proteins your liver produces act as the body's internal repair team, aiding in stopping bleeding and healing bruises. When liver function is impaired, this repair crew isn't as effective, which means bruises may appear more readily. From a clinical standpoint, a propensity for easy bruising is often related to a decrease in the liver's production of clotting factors. Therefore, if you're noticing bruises cropping out more often, particularly from minor or negligible trauma, it's a good idea to seek a medical evaluation. A healthcare provider can check your liver function and advise on next steps to manage and mitigate any issues. To learn more about this topic, please like the video and subscribe to my Healthy Care channel. I want to express my gratitude once again for your viewership and support in watching this video today. I send my best wishes for you to always be safe, prosperous, and happy. Welcome to our Healthy Care channel where we'll be discussing the top 10 medications that cause liver damage. The liver plays a crucial role in filtering and processing harmful substances in our bodies.
However, certain medications can lead to severe liver damage, and it's important for us to understand them to protect our liver health. In this video, we'll delve into these medications and provide information on the early symptoms of drug-induced liver damage. The last one is the main one, so stay until the end. This will help you recognize and respond promptly to any signs related to your liver health. The tenth medication on our list is the combination of amoxicillin with clavulinate, a widely prescribed antibiotic known for its effectiveness in treating various infections like sinusitis, tonsillitis, pneumonia, and urinary tract infections. Despite its efficacy, there's a significant concern associated with this medication. It has been linked to numerous cases of acute liver injury, a serious condition characterized by sudden liver damage that can have severe consequences if not promptly addressed. Therefore, it's crucial for healthcare professionals to be mindful of this risk when prescribing or administering amoxicillin with clavulinate. Patients should be closely monitored, especially if they're using the medication for prolonged periods or in high doses. They should also be educated about the signs of liver injury and advised to seek immediate medical attention if they experience symptoms such as jaundice, dark urine, extreme fatigue, nausea, vomiting, or abdominal pain, as these may indicate liver problems requiring urgent intervention. The ninth medication known to potentially harm the liver is diclofenac. While all anti-inflammatories, like ibuprofen and naproxen, carry a slight risk of liver damage, it's relatively rare. However, diclofenac is particularly notable for its higher risk compared to other anti-inflammatories when it comes to causing liver injuries. Liver damage from diclofenac can occur weeks or even months after starting to use the medication. Hence, it's crucial to understand that diclofenac not only affects the kidneys but also poses a risk to the liver. Stay vigilant about any symptoms and consult a healthcare professional if you experience any concerns while using this medication. The eighth medication we'll discuss is amiodarone, also known as ancarone, commonly prescribed by cardiologists to manage cardiac arrhythmias. This medication stands out for its effectiveness in significantly improving arrhythmias and even clearing 24-hour Holter records. However, it's essential to recognize that amiodarone carries one of the highest indexes of side effects among medications. It can impact various organs, including the thyroid, lungs, skin, and yes, the liver as well. Due to this extensive range of potential side effects, its usage has become more restricted compared to the past, reserved for specific cases where the benefits outweigh the risks. While amiodaron typically doesn't cause acute liver injury, it's important to note that its harmful effects on the liver may take weeks to months to manifest. Healthcare professionals and patients alike should remain vigilant for any signs of liver problems while using this medication and report any concerns promptly to their healthcare provider. The seventh group of medications that can potentially affect your liver are anticonvulsants. Specifically, medications like phenytoin, commercially known as hydental, and valproic acid, known as depocaine, are noteworthy for their association with liver damage. High dental has been observed to start causing liver injury immediately after initiation of treatment, while the effects of depocaine may become apparent between one and six weeks into therapy, underscoring the importance of regular monitoring of liver enzymes. In addition to these, carbamazepine and lamotrigine are also recognized for their potential to cause liver injuries although such occurrences are much less common. Thus, individuals prescribed these anticonvulsant medications should be vigilant about any signs of liver dysfunction and ensure regular liver function tests to monitor their liver health closely. The sixth medication known to potentially cause liver injury is allopurinol. Often prescribed for individuals with elevated uric acid levels or those suffering from gout, 
especially when dietary modifications alone aren't sufficient to manage the condition. Allopurinol effectively lowers uric acid levels in the body, thereby preventing gout attacks. However, it's crucial to understand that allopurinol can have adverse effects on the liver. Liver injuries associated with allopurinol use can occur rapidly, sometimes within days or weeks after initiating treatment. Hence, patients starting allopurinol therapy should undergo careful monitoring for any signs of liver damage. Regular medical follow-up is essential to promptly detect any issues and adjust the treatment plan as needed. Additionally, patients should promptly report any unusual symptoms that may arise during allopurinol use to their healthcare provider. Despite these risks, it's important to note that allopurinol remains a valuable therapeutic option for many patients with gout or elevated uric acid levels. However, its usage should be managed cautiously, with close attention paid to liver health. The fifth medication of concern is methotrexate, a widely utilized treatment for various conditions including rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and certain types of cancer. One crucial aspect of methotrexate use is the necessity for continuous monitoring of liver enzymes due to the common occurrence of liver injury associated with this medication. Liver injury induced by methotrexate can span from mild to severe, and in severe cases, may result in significant liver damage if not promptly identified and managed. To mitigate these risks, healthcare providers typically conduct regular liver enzyme tests for patients on methotrexate. These tests serve to promptly detect any signs of liver damage, enabling adjustments in medication or treatment strategies to prevent major complications. Adhering to medical guidelines regarding methotrexate dosage and frequency of use is paramount in minimizing the likelihood of adverse effects including hepatic ones. In certain scenarios, depending on the patient's health status and response to treatment, healthcare providers may explore alternative therapeutic options to mitigate the risk of liver injury associated with methotrexate. The fourth category of medications that can potentially impact the liver is antifungals. Specifically, fluconazole and idraconazole, commonly employed in the treatment of candidiasis and nail mycosis, are associated with hepatotoxicity in certain susceptible individuals. Given this association, it's crucial for individuals using these medications to treat mycosis to be vigilant about recognizing signs of hepatic toxicity, as mentioned earlier. Prompt identification of such symptoms can facilitate timely intervention and management to mitigate the risk of liver damage associated with antifungal therapy. The third group of medications that can impact the liver are antipsychotics, specifically risperidone and quetiapine, marketed under the name Seroquel. These antipsychotic medications are not only utilized in the treatment of psychoses but are also employed for cases of refractory depression, which refers to depressions unresponsive to conventional treatment. Both risperidone and quetiapine carry the potential to cause liver damage, primarily through a process known as drug-induced cholestasis. This condition occurs when there's an interruption or reduction in the flow of bile from the liver crucial for fat digestion and waste elimination. When medications like risperidone and quetiapine interfere with this process, bile can accumulate in the liver, leading to potential hepatic damage. Therefore, patients undergoing treatment with these medications should undergo careful monitoring for any signs of liver problems to ensure early detection and intervention. The second medication known to potentially affect the liver is methyl dopa. Methyl dopa is commonly prescribed to manage high blood pressure and is particularly favored for its safety, being the most prescribed medication for pregnant women with hypertension. Despite its overall safety profile, methyl dopa has been associated with potential liver damage. 
As such, its use is not recommended for individuals with pre-existing liver conditions such as fibrosis or cirrhosis. It's important to note that adverse effects on the liver can manifest up to 12 weeks after initiating treatment with methyl dopa. Regular monitoring of patients using this medication is crucial to promptly detect any signs of liver impairment. This monitoring helps prevent deterioration and ensures that hypertension treatment does not inadvertently harm liver health. Patients with a history of liver diseases should engage in discussions with their healthcare providers to explore safer alternative treatment options. The top drug on the list is paracetamol, which is widely recognized as the leading cause of drug-induced liver failure. Typically, liver injury isn't triggered by the standard dosage, but rather by excessive doses. Unfortunately, due to its widespread availability, some individuals misuse paracetamol, taking more than the recommended amount. For instance, instead of adhering to the appropriate dosage for a headache, they might ingest three tablets at once, repeating this overdose pattern. It's crucial to underscore that when taken as directed, paracetamol is safe. Doctors routinely prescribe it to infants to alleviate fever or pain without encountering issues. However, surpassing the recommended dose can be perilous. Shockingly, more than a third of liver failure cases attributed to medications are linked to paracetamol. An overdose of paracetamol can precipitate acute liver failure which carries a high mortality rate and often necessitates a liver transplant if the organ fails to regenerate itself. Unlike the kidneys, where hemodialysis can sometimes reverse renal failure temporarily, the liver typically requires a transplant once compromised. Moreover, factors like alcohol consumption, genetic predisposition, and concurrent intake of other medications on the list can heighten the risk of liver injury. Liver damage from paracetamol typically initiates within one to three days following ingestion, with symptoms manifesting two to four days later. Fortunately, an antidote for paracetamol overdose exists acetylcysteine, also known as fluomucil, which serves as an expectorant and is used for certain cases of OCD and trichotillomania. This antidote proves effective in safeguarding the liver against paracetamol overdose. However, if you've exceeded the recommended dosage, it's imperative to seek immediate medical attention at an emergency room and explain the situation to the doctor, rather than risking the need for a liver transplant. It's essential to recognize that just because a medication isn't listed here doesn't mean it can't cause liver damage. Vigilance and adherence to prescribed dosages are paramount to protecting liver health. The roster of medications carrying hepatotoxic potential is expansive, encompassing antiretrovirals, vitamins like niacin, various antibiotics, supplements, and even herbal teas a topic explored in a separate video. Given the liver's pivotal role in bodily functions, any malfunction can have far-reaching consequences. Thus, exercising extreme caution when using medications is paramount to prevent drug-induced hepatitis and in severe instances, fulminant hepatitis. Fulminant hepatitis represents a grave complication affecting a notable fraction of individuals with acute drug-induced hepatitis, often characterized by symptoms like jaundice and yellowing of the skin. Shockingly, among these cases, only approximately 20% survive without the necessity of a liver transplant. This underscores the critical importance of vigilant medication use and prompt medical intervention to safeguard liver health and overall well-being. Your liver's enemies, 8 foods to watch out for. The daily diet significantly impacts liver health. The liver plays a vital role in filtering and removing toxins and waste from the blood. However, certain foods contain harmful substances that can irritate and damage liver cells. Regular and prolonged consumption of these foods can lead to severe liver damage. Specifically, 
they can cause fat buildup in the liver, leading to the formation of scar tissue and fibrosis. This impairs the liver's ability to filter blood and detoxify the body, resulting in various serious health issues such as weight gain, high blood pressure, increased risk of stroke, diabetes, endocrine disorders, and other dangerous complications. Today, I will identify the nine most harmful foods for the liver that you should be aware of and suggest healthier alternatives. First, isolated soy protein is one of the most harmful substances for the liver. This type of protein is often added to products such as protein bars, weight loss drinks, protein powders, veggie burgers, and plant-based meat substitutes. During the production process, soy protein is extracted using a chemical solvent called hexane. This solvent can cause irritation and inflammation in liver cells. Additionally, heavy metals like aluminum are used to separate protein from soybeans, which can also harm the liver, brain, and bones. An average person only needs about 100 grams of protein per day. Therefore, I recommend avoiding products with high artificial protein content and obtaining protein from natural sources such as eggs, wild-caught salmon, grass-fed beef, and organic poultry. Second, various vegetable oils like soybean oil, corn oil, and sesame oil also contain many harmful substances for the liver. The seeds of these plants are often heavily treated with pesticides and herbicides like glyphosate. These chemicals are toxic and can cause liver damage. The high omega-6 content in vegetable oils makes them prone to oxidation and the formation of dangerous compounds like advanced glycation end products, ages, when heated during cooking. When consuming fried or sautéed foods cooked in these oils, ages can attach to the blood, leading to blockages in liver cells and other organs. Vegetable oils are widely used in processed foods such as snacks, cookies, chips, fried foods, sausages, salad dressings, and margarine. While it may be challenging to completely avoid them, I recommend cooking at home using healthier oils for the liver, such as pure olive oil, cold-pressed avocado oil, and natural coconut oil. For high-heat cooking, consider using grass-fed butter or lard, as they are heat-stable, less prone to oxidation, and do not produce harmful free radicals that can cause liver inflammation. Third, alcohol is a well-known liver-damaging beverage. Alcohol contributes to liver fat accumulation, leading to fatty liver disease. When consumed, it enters the bloodstream and is metabolized by the liver into acetaldehyde, a toxic substance. Acetaldehyde damages and harms liver cells. Moreover, alcohol inhibits the body from burning stored fat during fasting periods. When alcohol is consumed, the body prioritizes burning alcohol as an energy source before utilizing stored fat. Therefore, I recommend minimizing alcohol consumption as much as possible. When drinking alcohol, it's essential to avoid excessive consumption to prevent undue stress on the liver. Instead, consider healthier alternatives for relaxation, such as lavender tea or natural fermented foods like cheese, dark chocolate with no added sugar, kombucha, and kefir. Fourth, Fructose syrup is detrimental to the liver. High fructose corn syrup is commonly used in sauces, condiments, and processed foods. Unlike glucose, which is absorbed and used by most cells, fructose is primarily metabolized in the liver. While a small amount of fructose from natural fruits and berries is normal, excessive fructose from processed syrup can overload the liver contributing to fatty liver disease. Over 80% of packaged foods today contain some form of fructose as a sweetening agent, especially in carbonated drinks, beer, and syrups. 
This has led to an increasing number of people developing weight gain, liver problems, and insulin resistance. Additionally, excess fructose can elevate uric acid levels, leading to gout and kidney stones. Therefore, I recommend gradually reducing sugar intake and opting for healthier choices such as stevia sweetened beverages, homemade low sugar condiments, and natural sweeteners. Fifth, aflatoxins are toxic substances produced by certain molds. They often contaminate food items like peanuts, peanut butter, and corn. Consuming excessive aflatoxins can damage the liver, disrupt DNA, and increase the risk of liver disease and cancer. To avoid aflatoxins, choose organic peanuts, specifically Valencia peanuts or wild peanuts, over conventional ones. When dealing with grains and legumes, consider soaking, sprouting, or fermenting them to eliminate mold and reduce toxicity. Sixth, fillers like dextrose and maltodextrin found in processed foods can also harm the liver. These substances are commonly added as thickeners, bulking agents, or food preservatives. Maltodextrin and dextrose, in reality, are forms of sugar that may lead to liver damage if consumed excessively. While it may be challenging to completely avoid these additives, I recommend preparing more homemade meals using natural, whole ingredients and minimizing your reliance on heavily processed foods. In conclusion, making informed dietary choices is essential for maintaining liver health. By avoiding or limiting these harmful foods and adopting healthier alternatives, you can protect your liver and overall well-being. Liver damaging food number 7 involves fish with high mercury content. Mercury, a heavy metal, has the potential to gradually accumulate within liver cells, disrupting the normal production of enzymes. It also inflicts cellular damage and inflammation, impairing the liver's ability to detoxify other harmful substances we've discussed in this video. Mercury is notably concentrated in fish higher up the food chain, including species like shark, swordfish, king mackerel, tilefish, big eye tuna, and marlin. It is advisable to limit consumption of these high mercury fish to no more than once a month. Instead, consider focusing on fish lower in the food chain, such as wild salmon, sardines, anchovies, and cod. It's essential to emphasize that pregnant and nursing mothers tend to be more susceptible to the harmful effects of mercury. If you are in this situation, it's prudent to avoid mercury in your diet as much as possible, if not entirely. Moving on to number 8, we have MSG, monosodium glutamate. MSG is a flavor enhancer commonly used in fast food and packaged foods to enhance their taste. While a small amount of MSG might not cause significant harm, the fact that it's hidden in many foods means we often consume more than we realize. It appears under various names on labels, such as modified food starch, natural flavoring, yeast extract, calcium glutamate, and many others. Regrettably, studies have shown that high levels of MSG can increase fat accumulation in the liver and visceral fat around the organs. This can lead to liver inflammation and excessive weight gain, particularly when considering that it tends to make food more irresistibly tasty, leading to overconsumption. Now, it's crucial to understand that while it might be challenging to eliminate all of these foods entirely from your diet, you should approach your diet and lifestyle with a sense of balance. Becoming aware of what is detrimental to your body is the first step toward reducing your consumption of these items and replacing them with healthier alternatives. By introducing the right nutrients, antioxidants, and whole foods into your diet, you can support your liver's natural detoxification processes. For instance, Incorporating a daily salad containing organic, non-GMO cruciferous vegetables can provide sulforaphane and DIM, 
compounds that aid in cleansing the liver and facilitating the detoxification of harmful substances. Your liver is one of the few organs capable of complete healing and regeneration. There are indeed numerous other foods and nutrients that you can focus on incorporating into your diet to naturally cleanse and support liver health. Beware of these foods, hidden dangers to your liver. The liver is one of the most vital organs in our body. It's not just a filtration system for toxins, it also plays a crucial role in digestion, energy storage, and numerous other functions. When the liver isn't functioning properly, it can lead to serious health issues, including hepatitis, cirrhosis, and even liver cancer. The risks to liver health come from various sources, including unhealthy foods, environmental toxins, and certain medications. Do you know which foods and toxins can harm your liver? Identifying and avoiding these harmful foods and toxins is key to protecting your liver and improving your overall health. Let's dive into this list and learn how to best care for your liver. 1. High sugar foods such as pastries, candies, and sweetened beverages pose significant risks to liver health. Firstly, they contribute to the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. This occurs when fructose, a type of refined sugar, is metabolized into fat in the liver, increasing the risk of liver inflammation and cirrhosis. Additionally, the liver is responsible for metabolizing refined sugars, and an excessive amount demands more work from the liver, placing undue stress on this vital organ. Moreover, excessive sugar consumption can lead to systemic inflammation, severely impacting the liver. Specifically, refined sugars can induce insulin resistance, heightening the risk of type 2 diabetes, which not only harms the liver but also affects overall health. Finally, refined sugars can alter the way the liver metabolizes and distributes lipids, leading to elevated levels of cholesterol and triglycerides in the blood. This not only increases the liver's workload but also causes other liver health issues. 2. Dot red and processed meats, including beef, lamb, pork, as well as processed products like sausages and deli meats, are known to have adverse effects on liver health. One of the primary concerns is their contribution to the development of fatty liver disease. The high saturated fat content in these meats can lead to fat accumulation in the liver, a condition known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. Furthermore, during the processing of these meats, carcinogenic compounds such as nitrosamines can form, elevating the risk of liver cancer. Additionally, the saturated fats and toxins from processed meats can induce inflammation and damage liver cells, potentially leading to cirrhosis and other liver disorders. This damage is exacerbated by the liver's increased workload in metabolizing and eliminating the toxins present in processed meats, which can strain and impair liver function. Moreover, the overconsumption of red and processed meats is often associated with weight gain and metabolic disorders. These conditions, in turn, indirectly impact liver health as they can exacerbate fatty liver disease and other liver-related issues. 3. Alcohol, alcoholic beverages, which include beer, wine, spirits, and cocktails, contain ethanol, a substance that significantly impacts liver health. The ethanol in these drinks is toxic to liver cells. As the liver attempts to break down ethanol, it generates byproducts that damage liver cells. This process, over time, can lead to alcoholic hepatitis and acute inflammation of the liver. If alcohol consumption continues, this condition can become chronic, leading to more severe liver damage. Furthermore, long-term abuse of alcohol can result in cirrhosis, where normal liver tissue is replaced with scar tissue, significantly impairing liver function. In addition to cirrhosis, Alcohol consumption can also cause alcoholic fatty liver disease, 
characterized by abnormal accumulation of fat in the liver, increasing the risk of inflammation and further liver damage. A particularly concerning aspect is the increased risk of liver cancer associated with alcohol consumption. Continuous liver damage from alcohol can lead to cellular changes in the liver, heightening the risk of developing cancer. Moreover, alcohol consumption can disrupt the liver's ability to perform essential functions such as blood filtration, vital protein production, and drug metabolism. Therefore, limiting or eliminating alcohol from the diet is a crucial step in protecting the liver from these severe harms, maintaining its health, and ensuring its efficient functioning. This approach not only addresses the direct impact of alcohol on the liver but also supports the overall health of this vital organ. 4. Fried and fatty foods, such as French fries, fast food, fried meats, and other items cooked in large amounts of oil or fat, have several detrimental effects on liver health. Primarily, these foods contribute to the development of fatty liver disease. The high content of saturated and trans fats in these foods leads to an accumulation of fat in the liver, which is a key factor in the onset of fatty liver disease, increasing the risk of liver inflammation and cirrhosis. Furthermore, these fats can directly cause liver inflammation, elevating the risk of liver damage and other liver diseases. The process of frying at high temperatures generates harmful compounds like acrylamide and aldehydes, which add to the toxic burden on the liver. The liver, in its role to detoxify the body, becomes strained in attempting to eliminate these toxins. Additionally, the consumption of fried and fatty foods can disrupt normal lipid metabolism in the liver. This can lead to elevated cholesterol levels and blood lipid disorders, further harming the liver. Regular consumption of these foods often leads to weight gain and obesity, which are known risk factors for the development of fatty liver disease and other liver health issues. Therefore, reducing or avoiding fried and fatty foods is a crucial step in protecting the liver from these negative impacts. 5. Carbonated beverages, including sodas, fizzy drinks, and some energy drinks, present several risks to liver health, primarily due to their high sugar content, artificial sweeteners, and in some cases, caffeine. The excessive sugar found in these drinks can lead to the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, a condition characterized by fat accumulation in the liver not related to alcohol consumption. This is particularly concerning as NAFLD can progress to more serious liver diseases. Moreover, the chemicals and preservatives in carbonated beverages add to the liver's toxic burden. The liver is tasked with filtering and eliminating these substances, which increases its workload and can lead to liver stress and damage. The disruption to metabolic processes caused by the sugars and artificial sweeteners in these drinks can also affect how the liver metabolizes fats and sugars, potentially leading to further liver problems. Inflammation is another significant concern. The high sugar levels and additives in carbonated drinks can cause inflammation, increasing the risk of liver damage and other liver-related health issues. Additionally, the habitual consumption of these beverages often contributes to weight gain and obesity, which are known risk factors for the development of fatty liver disease and other liver health complications. 6. Full-fat dairy products, such as whole milk, cheese, cream, and other high-fat dairy items, pose several risks to liver health due to their high saturated fat content. These saturated fats can contribute to the development of fatty liver disease, a condition characterized by an excessive accumulation of fat in the liver. This condition can progress to more severe liver issues, such as inflammation and cirrhosis, if not properly managed. The saturated fats in full-fat dairy products can induce inflammation and oxidative stress in the liver, increasing the risk of liver damage. Additionally, 
the liver is burdened with metabolizing these saturated fats, which can strain its metabolic capacity and impact liver function. This increased metabolic demand can lead to alterations in how the liver processes fats, potentially resulting in elevated cholesterol levels and lipid metabolism disorders, further harming the liver. 7. Preserved foods, including packaged snacks, canned goods, processed meals, and various other products containing preservatives such as nitrites, sodium benzoate, and sulfites, pose significant risks to liver health. These preservatives increase the toxic load on the liver, requiring it to work harder to filter and eliminate these harmful substances from the body. This increased workload can strain the liver and impair its functioning. Furthermore, certain preservatives can cause oxidative stress and inflammation in the liver, leading to cellular damage and increasing the risk of liver health issues. This oxidative stress and inflammation can contribute to the development of conditions like fatty liver disease, hepatitis, and cirrhosis. In addition to their direct toxic effects, preservatives can disrupt the normal function of the liver, affecting its ability to metabolize other toxins and nutrients. Regular consumption of foods containing these chemicals can also adversely affect lipid and glucose metabolism. This disruption can increase the risk of metabolic disorders and diabetes, which are known to have negative implications for liver health. 8. Spicy foods, rich in spices like chili peppers, black pepper, and other hot seasonings, are common in various cuisines, including Indian, Thai, Mexican, and certain Asian dishes. While they add flavor, their impact on liver health can be significant. Spicy foods can stimulate the liver to increase bile production, which can put pressure on the bile excretion system and lead to digestive disorders. This increased bile production can also contribute to the formation of gallstones, which, if they cause blockages, can harm the liver. In some cases, excessive consumption of spicy foods can lead to liver inflammation, especially when combined with other risk factors like alcohol consumption. This inflammation can affect the liver and potentially other organs. Moreover, in rare instances, excessive intake of spicy foods may disrupt liver function, particularly if other risk factors are present. Therefore, while spicy foods can be a part of a healthy diet, Consuming them in moderation is crucial to avoid adverse effects on the liver and the digestive system. Balancing the intake of spicy foods with other nutritious, liver-friendly foods is key to maintaining overall liver health and function. Understanding which foods to steer clear of is key to safeguarding our liver's health for a vibrant, fulfilling, unlocking liver health. 9 Foods to Avoid for a Cancer-Free Liver the liver is a powerhouse organ, performing vital functions like detoxifying harmful substances, aiding in digestion, and regulating metabolism. But did you know that certain foods can be detrimental to your liver's health and may even increase the risk of liver cancer? Have you ever wondered what foods might be secretly affecting your liver's health? Are you curious to know how you can protect this vital organ and reduce the risk of liver cancer? Let's first understand the signs that our liver might be struggling, fatigue, bloating, and changes in skin color are just a few symptoms to watch out for. Recognizing these early warning signs is key to taking proactive steps for liver health. We'll explore how certain foods contribute to liver stress and why they can be harmful. From processed meats to sugary snacks, the everyday foods we consume can significantly influence liver function and health. But it's not all doom and gloom. Awareness and dietary choices are powerful tools for prevention. Today, we'll guide you through the nine foods to avoid for a healthier liver and a reduced risk of liver cancer. Stay with us as we unlock the secrets to liver health and pave the way for a healthier, happier you.
let's dive right in and discover the nine foods that your liver will thank you for avoiding. 1. Saturated and trans fats. Saturated and trans fats, commonly found in foods like red meat, cheese, butter, and processed goods, are prevalent in many people's daily diets. Notably, saturated fats are usually solid at room temperature and primarily come from animal sources, while trans fats mainly arise from the hydrogenation of vegetable oils, extending the shelf life of processed foods. Excessive consumption of these fats poses multiple health risks, particularly to the liver. Medically speaking, they increase levels of LDL cholesterol often referred to as bad cholesterol in the blood, thus placing greater strain on the liver in its fat metabolism and filtration processes. Moreover, overindulgence in foods high in saturated and trans fats can lead to fatty liver disease, a condition where fat accumulates in the liver. This not only causes liver damage but also heightens the risk of liver cirrhosis and liver cancer. From a medical perspective, reducing or limiting the intake of foods rich in saturated and trans fats is crucial for safeguarding the liver against such damage and for overall health improvement. This approach doesn't just lower the risk of liver-related diseases but also offers significant benefits for cardiovascular health and body weight management. 2. Alcoholic Beverages Alcoholic beverages, ranging from beer to spirits, are an integral part of many cultures around the world. However, the consumption of alcohol can have significant impacts on health, particularly on the liver which is the primary organ responsible for processing and eliminating alcohol from the body. When alcohol is consumed, it is broken down by the liver into substances that can be harmful. This process produces byproducts like acetaldehyde, a toxic substance that can damage liver cells. If alcohol is consumed regularly or in large quantities, the liver can become overwhelmed and unable to effectively remove these toxins, leading to conditions such as alcoholic hepatitis, cirrhosis, and even liver cancer. The primary cause of liver problems related to alcohol is due to its overuse and excessive consumption. This not only increases the production of acetaldehyde and other toxins in the liver but also damages liver cells, impairing liver function. Consequently, the liver becomes less capable of processing alcohol and other toxins, leading to their accumulation and further harm to the body. Controlling alcohol intake and avoiding its abuse are effective ways to protect the liver and maintain overall health. By understanding these risks and taking proactive steps to manage alcohol consumption, individuals can significantly reduce the likelihood of developing serious liver conditions. 3. Aflatoxins Aflatoxins, potent toxins produced by certain molds, are commonly found in improperly stored foods such as peanuts, corn, and soybeans. These toxins are not only harmful to the liver but are also known carcinogens. Aflatoxins are produced by Aspergillus fungi, which thrive in warm and moist conditions. When humans consume food contaminated with aflatoxins, these toxins accumulate in the liver, causing cellular damage and impeding liver function. Long-term exposure to aflatoxins can lead to serious conditions such as liver cirrhosis and liver cancer, especially in cases of prolonged and continuous exposure. The primary cause of the risk of aflatoxin exposure is improper food storage, particularly in conditions that are warm and moist, which promote the growth of aflatoxin-producing molds. Therefore, proper food storage and quality checks before consumption are effective ways to reduce the risk of aflatoxin exposure and protect liver health. 4. Nitrites and nitrates Nitrites and nitrates are chemical compounds commonly used as preservatives in processed foods especially in meat products like sausages and deli meats. While they help maintain the freshness and color of food, concerns have been raised about their impact on health, 
particularly their carcinogenic potential. Nitrites and nitrates act as preservatives by inhibiting bacterial growth and keeping meat visually appealing. However, during digestion, they can be converted into potentially cancer-causing compounds, especially nitrosaminas. These compounds have been linked to an increased risk of certain cancers, including stomach, liver, and colorectal cancer. The primary health risk from nitrites and nitrates arises from their metabolism in the body into harmful compounds. When consumed, nitrites and nitrates in food can interact with other protein compounds in the stomach to form nitrosaminas, a group of compounds with carcinogenic potential. This risk is heightened when foods containing nitrites and nitrates are cooked at high temperatures, such as during grilling or frying increasing the likelihood of nitrosamine formation. Therefore, minimizing the consumption of foods containing nitrites and nitrates, particularly processed meat products, is important for reducing cancer risk and protecting overall health. This approach aligns with medical advice focusing on dietary choices that limit exposure to potential carcinogens. 5. Refined Sugars Foods containing refined sugars, including sweets, sugary drinks, and many processed foods are a staple in modern diets. While these foods offer appealing sweetness, refined sugar can lead to numerous health issues, particularly affecting the liver. Refined sugars, such as sucrose and high fructose, are often added to foods and beverages to enhance flavor. However, excessive consumption can result in various health problems. In the liver, refined sugar is easily converted into fat, leading to fatty liver disease, where fat accumulates in the liver and impairs its function. This condition also increases the risk of other health problems like type 2 diabetes and heart disease. The main cause of liver problems related to refined sugar is the excessive conversion of these sugars into fat within the liver. Overconsumption of refined sugars, especially in processed foods and sweetened beverages, leads to fat accumulation in the liver, resulting in fatty liver disease. This not only affects liver function but also contributes to a range of other health issues, particularly in individuals with a diet high in refined sugars. Therefore, limiting the intake of refined sugars is crucial for protecting the liver and maintaining overall health. By understanding these risks and moderating sugar consumption, individuals can significantly reduce the likelihood of developing liver-related and other chronic health conditions. 6. Artificial Food Artificial food additives, including artificial flavors, colors, and preservatives, are an integral part of the modern food industry. They enhance the taste, appearance, and shelf life of food products. However, some artificial additives can pose health risks, particularly to the liver. These additives are incorporated into foods to make them more visually and gustatorily appealing. When consumed in excess, they can trigger negative reactions in the body. The liver, being the primary organ for detoxifying harmful substances, has to work harder to eliminate these additives from the body. The accumulation of additives can cause damage to liver cells and affect liver function. The main reason for liver-related issues due to artificial additives is the body's need to process and eliminate them. Certain additives, when consumed in large quantities or regularly, can become toxic to the liver and hinder its normal functions. This is especially true for individuals with sedentary lifestyles or unhealthy diets. 7. Fish contains mercury content. Certain types of fish such as swordfish and shark are known for their high mercury content. Mercury is an environmental toxin that can accumulate in the aquatic food chain and ultimately concentrate in larger, predatory fish. Consuming these fish can introduce mercury into the human body, leading to health issues. 
mercury is a harmful heavy metal that can accumulate in the body over time. When high mercury fish are consumed, this toxin can accumulate in tissues, particularly in the liver, where toxins are filtered and processed. Mercury can damage liver cells, reduce liver function, and cause other health problems. The primary reason for the risk of mercury consumption from fish is due to the biological cycle and accumulation of mercury in the aquatic food chain. Large, predatory fish often accumulate significant amounts of mercury by eating smaller fish, and when humans consume these larger fish, mercury is transferred into our bodies. This is especially concerning for pregnant women and young children, as mercury can harm neurological development. Therefore, choosing fish with lower mercury levels and reducing the consumption of high mercury fish is essential for health protection, especially liver health. By understanding these risks and making informed choices about fish consumption, individuals can significantly reduce their exposure to mercury and protect their liver and overall health. 8. Foods cooked at high temperatures. Foods cooked at high temperatures, such as grilled meats and fried items, are a common part of many diets. However, this cooking method can produce harmful compounds, notably acrylamide, which is considered potentially carcinogenic. When foods, especially carbohydrates, are cooked at high temperatures, as in baking or frying, acrylamide can form. This compound is created through a reaction between the amino acid asparagine and natural sugars in food. The highest levels of acrylamide are typically found in products like French fries and toasted bread. The primary cause of acrylamide formation in food is the thermal reaction between the natural components of food at high temperatures. Acrylamide is not only associated with an increased risk of cancer but can also cause liver damage and other organ harm when consumed regularly and in large amounts. Therefore, minimizing the consumption of foods processed at high temperatures and switching to healthier cooking methods, such as steaming or boiling, is important to reduce the risk of acrylamide intake and protect overall health. 9. Contaminated Food Contaminated food, particularly when not properly processed or stored, can lead to infections and liver inflammation. The risk of bacterial contamination in food is a significant public health concern, affecting both individual health and food safety. Food can become contaminated from various sources, including bacteria, viruses, or parasites. These microorganisms can cause diseases such as gastrointestinal infections, food poisoning, and even hepatitis. Commonly affected foods include raw or undercooked meat, seafood, eggs, and unpasteurized milk. The main reason for the risk of bacterial contamination in food is improper food processing or storage. Inadequate handwashing and kitchen utensil sanitation, using the same utensils for raw and cooked food, or storing food at inappropriate temperatures can create conditions conducive to bacterial growth. When these microorganisms are ingested, they can harm the digestive system and liver, leading to serious health issues. Therefore, implementing food safety measures such as proper food processing and storage is essential to protect health and prevent diseases caused by foodborne bacteria. Alright, folks. Today we've taken a deep dive into the world of food and liver health. We've explored everything from the effects of hydrogenated fats and high mercury fish to the risks posed by artificial additives and contaminated foods. Remember, while our liver is incredibly resilient, it's up to us to support it with healthy dietary choices. So, let's make more informed decisions about what we eat. Opt for fresh, whole foods whenever possible, and be mindful of how our food is processed and prepared. Reducing our intake of these nine types of foods can not only help maintain a healthy liver but also contribute to our overall well-being.
The liver is one of the most crucial organs in the body, playing a key role in filtering and metabolizing nutrients and toxins. So, how does alcohol affect the liver? Did you know that even when consuming a moderate amount of alcohol, our liver has to work at full capacity to process it? This raises the question, is alcohol truly safe for our liver? We will explore the signs indicating that your liver might be suffering due to alcohol, ranging from initial symptoms like fatigue and nausea to more severe manifestations such as jaundice and abdominal pain. It's not just the amount of alcohol consumed, but also the frequency and drinking habits that significantly impact the liver. We will analyze how alcohol attacks liver cells, leading to inflammation and fibrosis. Let's begin with the first condition, biliary obstruction caused by alcohol. The liver damage caused by alcohol through biliary obstruction is a complex and diverse process with many specific medical signs. Initially, when alcohol is metabolized in the liver, this process creates not only ethanol but also acetaldehyde and free radicals. These molecules cause inflammation and stimulate the production of collagen and other connective tissue proteins. This leads to an increase in connective tissue around the bile ducts, forming scar tissue. The consequence of increased connective tissue is the narrowing or blocking of the bile ducts, obstructing the flow of bile from the liver to the intestines. Next, the obstructed bile flow leads to bile accumulation in the liver, resulting in liver cell damage and decreased liver function. This is evident through medical symptoms such as jaundice, loss of appetite, fatigue, and upper abdominal pain. Additionally, alcohol stimulation of the immune system to produce inflammatory cytokines also contributes to the process of inflammation and connective tissue proliferation. These impacts together create a self-reinforcing cycle, increasing the risk of developing serious liver diseases like hepatitis, cirrhosis, and even liver cancer. The second condition is inflammation and liver cell damage caused by alcohol. Inflammation and liver cell damage caused by alcohol is a complex process, originating from the immune system stimulation by the byproducts of alcohol metabolism, especially acetaldehyde and free radicals. When alcohol is consumed, it is metabolized in the liver, producing these compounds. They are not only toxic to liver cells but also stimulate the immune system's response. This response includes the release of inflammatory cytokines, a type of protein used by the body to regulate immune and inflammatory responses. As these cytokines are released, they cause inflammation in the liver, which can be identified by symptoms such as swelling, redness, and pain. Prolonged inflammation not only causes liver tissue damage but also leads to the development of scar tissue, hindering liver function. Furthermore, continuous liver inflammation can severely damage liver cells, reducing their functionality and eventually leading to cell death. The third condition is metabolic disorders caused by alcohol. Metabolic disorders in the liver caused by alcohol are a complex process, primarily due to alcohol consumption. When alcohol is metabolized in the liver, it not only produces harmful byproducts but also directly affects the metabolism of basic nutrients such as lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins. This leads to the accumulation of fat in the liver, known as fatty liver, a common condition in those who abuse alcohol. Additionally, alcohol disrupts the metabolism of carbohydrates, affecting the ability to maintain stable blood sugar levels, potentially leading to hypoglycemia, especially in individuals who do not eat adequately. Moreover, alcohol hinders the synthesis of proteins in the liver causing malnutrition and decreased liver function. The fourth condition is reduced filtering capacity of the liver. The liver, primarily responsible for filtering and removing toxins from the blood, is severely affected by alcohol, leading to a diminished ability to perform this function. 
Alcohol consumption, especially at high levels and abuse, directly damages liver cells, reducing their capacity to process and remove harmful substances. Prolonged liver cell damage due to alcohol also inhibits normal metabolic processes of the liver, increasing the accumulation of toxins in the body. To assess the impact of alcohol on liver filtering function, doctors often rely on blood tests to check liver function indicators, along with observing clinical symptoms. Reducing or completely stopping alcohol consumption is a crucial step in protecting the liver from these adverse effects, helping maintain its filtering function and overall health. The fifth condition is nutritional disorders caused by alcohol. Nutritional disorders due to alcohol are a serious health issue, often stemming from alcohol's direct impact on the absorption and utilization of nutrients. Alcohol, when consumed, can damage the stomach and intestinal lining, leading to decreased absorption of essential vitamins and minerals. This, coupled with alcohol's effect on the liver, where proteins and other nutrients are metabolized and stored, creates an environment in which the body cannot maintain necessary nutrient levels. From a medical standpoint, signs of alcohol-induced nutritional disorders include weight loss, vitamin deficiencies, muscle wasting, and skin problems. Blood tests can also detect deficiencies in specific nutrients. Additionally, liver damage caused by alcohol affects the metabolism of protein, increasing the risk of malnutrition. It is important to recognize alcohol abuse as a primary cause of nutritional disorders and address it along with improving diet. Enhancing nutrient intake through diet and reducing or eliminating alcohol can help improve overall health and prevent malnutrition. This underscores the importance of monitoring nutritional and liver health, especially in cases of regular or abusive alcohol consumption. Fortunately, However, the liver has the ability to regenerate and completely heal itself when you adjust your diet and adopt appropriate treatment measures. Therefore, let's go over the most important steps to reverse liver damage. Reduce alcohol consumption. Limiting or completely stopping alcohol intake is the best way to protect the liver from alcohol-related damage. Maintain a balanced and healthy diet. Eating a balanced diet with sufficient proteins, carbohydrates, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals to support liver function. Supplement vitamins and minerals. Consider supplementing with vitamins B, C, E, and minerals such as selenium and zinc, which may be deficient due to alcohol abuse. Increase physical activity. Regular exercise helps improve overall health and supports liver function. Boost immune system, maintain a healthy lifestyle with adequate sleep, stress management, and maintaining positive social relationships. Alcohol and liver health, how much is risky? We imperative to discuss the implications of alcohol consumption on liver health. A study indicated that merely 21 binge drinking episodes can initiate early stage liver disease. To clarify, Binge drinking refers to consuming over five standard drinks in a two-hour period. A standard drink in this context contains approximately 0.6 ounces of pure alcohol. This amount is typically found in a standard can of beer, 8 ounces of malt liquor, 5 ounces of wine, or a 1.5-ounce shot of distilled spirits. Therefore, indulging in five such drinks on 21 separate occasions could precipitate the onset of early-stage liver disease. Furthermore, even a single binge drinking episode can elevate liver enzymes, indicating stress or damage to the liver. When alcohol is consumed, about 25% is absorbed directly into the bloodstream from the stomach, while the remainder is absorbed through the small intestine. The absorbed alcohol then circulates to the liver. The liver's role is to metabolize and detoxify this substance. 
However, the initial stage of alcohol breakdown is particularly harmful to liver cells. This stage can cause inflammation and, over time, lead to the development of scar tissue in the liver, a condition known as cirrhosis. Understanding these risks is crucial for maintaining liver health and preventing alcohol-related liver diseases. From it's essential to understand the metabolic process of alcohol in the liver and its long-term effects. Remember to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest videos, and if you find our content valuable, please consider making a donation through the donate feature to support us in creating more high-quality content. Typically, when an individual consumes one alcoholic drink, it takes about an hour for the liver's enzymes to metabolize it into less harmful substances. However, persistent alcohol consumption can impair this critical enzyme network, leading to an accumulation of toxic substances in the liver and other organs like the pancreas. The initial consequence of regular alcohol intake is the accumulation of fat in the liver. This fatty buildup can trigger inflammation, potentially leading to the formation of scar tissue in the liver. Additionally, the fat in the liver can contribute to insulin resistance, further exacerbating inflammation. This creates a vicious cycle of liver damage. Regarding liver inflammation, medically termed as hepatitis, it typically begins within five years of consistent heavy drinking. It's crucial to recognize these risks and understand that chronic alcohol consumption can lead to serious liver complications, emphasizing the importance of moderation and awareness in alcohol consumption for maintaining liver health. The progression of liver diseases like cirrhosis, which typically develops over a span of 5 to 10 years or more. This condition is a result of prolonged inflammation in the liver, leading the body to repair the damage with scar tissue, often involving the immune system. Intriguingly, during this period, symptoms may not be pronounced. Individuals might experience fatigue or notice an enlarged abdomen, although it's not always a definitive indicator. Skinny fat is another condition where fat accumulates around the organs without noticeable weight gain. A protruding belly particularly in the context of liver disease, often indicates a fatty liver. Ascites, another serious condition, involves fluid accumulation in the abdominal cavity due to severe liver damage. This indicates an advanced stage of liver disease. As the disease progresses, more symptoms emerge, such as arthritis and itching, particularly on the soles of the feet. Jaundice characterized by yellowing of the eyes and skin, may also occur. Hormonal imbalances, leading to increased estrogen and decreased testosterone levels, can result in changes like the development of gynecomastia. Patients often feel lethargic, may suffer from bad breath, and experience muscle loss. Despite these manifestations, an individual might otherwise feel normal, underscoring the insidious nature of liver disease and the importance of early detection and intervention. There are additional factors influencing the impact of alcohol on your liver. Firstly, the concentration of alcohol consumed plays a significant role. Higher alcohol content in beverages can exacerbate liver damage compared to more diluted drinks. Additionally, carbonation in alcoholic beverages is believed to intensify their adverse effects on the liver. The presence of food while consuming alcohol also matters. Food can act as a buffer, mitigating some of the harmful impacts of alcohol on the liver. However, chronic alcohol consumption leads to significant oxidative stress in the liver, characterized by an increase in free radical damage. Over time, the liver's ability to counteract these harmful effects diminishes. This progressive decline in liver function hampers the body's ability to detoxify substances and affects digestion. Consequently, there is an increased risk of DNA damage and even liver cancer. Alarmingly, 
the age of onset for severe liver conditions like cirrhosis is decreasing. It used to be diagnosed primarily in individuals in their 40s, 50s, or 60s. However, we are now witnessing cases of cirrhosis in much younger individuals, including those in their mid-20s. This trend underscores the urgent need for increased awareness and prevention strategies regarding alcohol consumption and liver health. Indeed, from 1999 to 2016, cirrhosis-related deaths have escalated by 65%, indicating an alarming trend of increased alcohol consumption and its detrimental effects among younger populations. It's crucial to recognize that liver damage isn't solely caused by alcohol. The consumption of sugar, particularly in the form of high-fructose corn syrup, can have effects on the liver similar to those of alcohol. Therefore, abstaining from alcohol doesn't necessarily safeguard against liver issues. This leads to the condition known as non-alcoholic liver disease. Additionally, numerous medications contribute significantly to liver damage. It's evident that alcohol, sugar, certain medications, and viral infections are among the top contributors to liver deterioration. While it might seem contradictory, maintaining a healthy diet is vital for those who consume substantial amounts of alcohol in an attempt to mitigate the liver damage incurred. However, it's often observed that individuals with high alcohol intake also tend to follow a diet high in sugar, which compounds the problem. The remarkable aspect of liver health is that the liver is the only organ capable of complete regeneration, provided that the damaging factors are eliminated. Impressively, in cases of fatty liver, up to 50% of the fat accumulation can be reduced within just two weeks by avoiding the causative agents. Nevertheless, it's crucial to understand that there is a threshold beyond which the damage becomes irreversible, particularly when excessive scar tissue is formed. It's vital to address liver health before reaching this point of no return. For those seeking to reverse liver damage and improve their liver health, gaining knowledge on this topic is essential. To learn more about this topic, please like the video and subscribe to my Healthy Care channel. I want to express my gratitude once again for your viewership and support in watching this video today. I send my best wishes for you to always be safe.